As a professional actor, Zaki is no stranger to movie sets, but this time she was going behind the scenes as a visitor. Mayfair, a suburb in Johannesburg, was once defined as an Indian area by the architects of apartheid. Today it is a melting pot of people and cultures and the backdrop of a new local movie directed by the visionary Sarah Bletcher. Today I'm meeting up with some of the people who brought this vision to life. Religion, culture. Sharing its title with its principal setting, the movie tells a story of Mayfair's alternative economy, with money laundering forming an important part of criminal activities. With that said, it isn't merely a gangland thriller, because director Sarah Bletcher is focused on the human dimension of the plot, enabling the audience to identify with the main characters as people. Sarah, why is it so important for you to tell the story? I think it's really good to not have all films that come out of a country be the same film. We've seen a lot of films about apartheid, we've seen a lot of films about suffering, and that's not the human condition. I think it really is important as part of that mix of South African films to have the variety that we truly are. In a nutshell, what is Mayfair about? It's the story of the relationship between a father and a son. It's a child who doesn't want to become what he believes his father is, and slowly, bit by bit, we watch him reach his destiny in many ways. Equally at the heart of the film is a love letter to Joburg. How would you describe your directing style? I think I'm an incredibly collaborative director, particularly when I direct films about cultures that aren't my own. You have to be very open and receptive to all the creatives that you're working with. It isn't a story of me coming and saying, this is the way Mayfair is. It's much more an idea of me coming and saying, show me how Mayfair is, and then let's make a film about that. Mayfair is full of three-dimensional female characters of agency. How important are these kinds of roles for women? Young people role model on the way they see people in films behave. To have female characters with agency that affects the narrative of the film to me is absolutely critical in a country like South Africa where there is so much violence against women and where women have so little agency in their lives. Amira Patel plays the role of the feisty younger sister of the central character, Zayn. Something that I care about or something okay. that's going on for me, Okay, Zayn. okay, okay. Amira, can you tell us about the character you play in the movie? I play Faiza. She's the daughter of the crime boss, Aziz. She is an empowered woman. She's not sort of sitting, waiting for someone to rescue her. She also is full of secrets, full of ambition and drive. There's quite a lot of action around her. Why should people go to see Mayfair? It's exciting and it's going to have you watch like this. But then also it's got beautiful visuals, the way that you see Mayfair, the way that you see Johannesburg. And then the idea of tradition and family versus contemporary living is really being thrown up there. What are the traditional things that we still hold on to? What are the secrets that our children don't tell us? And I think that that's an exciting thing to break open. I'm happy over that. Played by UK actor Ronak Patani, Zaid is a young man who turned his back on his father, Aziz Randera, because of his shady activities. Rajesh Patani plays Aziz, a businessman and loan shark who's in over his head. I'm delighted to be chatting to Rajesh Gopi about his character Aziz. Rajesh, tell me about the role you play in the movie. I play Aziz Randira, who's the head of the family, the father of the main character. The story kind of revolves around his business and his morals. What were some of the challenges of playing such a dark character? I've always had the thing, if you feel it, then you can do it. And I quite quickly found it, actually, because we've all known certain characters are quite heavy, mafiosa type. So, you know, just bringing some of that stuff into the role. Zaid finds his way back to his family, but his father is no longer the man in charge. Jamie will get the revenue guys to back off, eh? Then we'll pay Hassan his 10 million and everything will be fine. He's in Dubai. Who? Rajesh, in your opinion, why aren't there more Indians represented in mainstream media? The industry wasn't around to support Indian actors. So when you don't support people, our parents are going to say, all right, son, daughter, go study drama. If there's no industry, you can't put people into it. But now films are being made, and I'm glad that films like Sarah's film, Mayfair, just looks at people in the situation. It's not trying to 
make excuses for itself. It just drops you in a world, and then you just have to figure it out. Why should audiences go see Mayfair? It has some of the finest performances that I've seen. It's a really good thriller and a really good action film. And you can't help but be proud of the South Africanness of the film, whatever your color is. In recent years, Josie has hit the big screen big time, but often as a city double for a dark metropolis of the future. This makes it all the more exciting to see a feature film that tells an authentically Joburg story set in the here and now. Seeing our stories on the international movie circuit, whether a drama or a comedy, is always a big deal for our local industry. With a stellar cast and hard-hitting storyline, Mayfair is a must-see.